You're watching CBSN New York. Right now. I, Joseph Robinette Biden Jr., do solemnly swear. The 46th president of the United States swears in. This is our historic moment. A new chapter for America and breaking barriers. Beyond excited over the moon. Yeah, I just can't stop smiling. In unprecedented times, Washington on lockdown, a small audience six feet apart, a ceremony like no other. CBS2 coverage continues. The inauguration of Joseph R. Biden. Good evening, I'm Christine Johnson. I'm Maurice Dubois. A new era in American history began today. President Joe Biden took the oath of office at the inauguration that looked much different than the past. Because of the pandemic, he and First Lady Dr. Jill Biden were greeted by a much smaller crowd than usual. A field of flags on the National Mall represented the tens of thousands of Americans who could not attend. Vice President Kamala Harris arrived with second gentleman Doug Emhoff for a ceremony that made Harris the highest ranking woman in office in the history of the United States. Now, Donald Trump did not attend the inauguration, but former Presidents Clinton, Bush, and Obama were there. President Carter did not go due to COVID and his age. CBS 2's Dick Brennan begins our coverage tonight. Dick. Well, Maurice and Christine, President Biden has gotten to work already, and he's changing the rules. People entering the White House must wear a wristband proving that you've had a COVID test. And the president is already reversing Trump policies. There's no time to start like today. President Biden got to work signing 17 executive orders, including a mask mandate on federal properties, and he revealed that President Trump had left him the traditional letter. President uh, wrote a very generous letter. I have, it's because it was private, I will uh, not talk about it until I talk to him, but uh, it was generous. Do you solemnly swear that you will support and defend the Constitution of the United States? Vice President Kamala Harris was also busy swearing in three Democratic senators. Congratulations. Biden and Harris themselves were sworn in this afternoon. So help you God. So help me God. Congratulations, Mr. President. Joe Biden became the 46th president of the United States, and Kamala Harris becomes vice president and makes history. I, Kamala Davy Harris, solemnly swear. Harris becomes the first woman and the first woman of color to become vice president. So help me God. The backdrop was the Capitol, which just two weeks ago was under siege. Now the new American president reaches out to try to unify a divided nation. My fellow Americans, we have to be different than this. America has to be better than this. And I believe America is so much better than this. Mr. Biden was surrounded by former presidents, Obama, Clinton, and Bush. And the vice president, Mike Pence, was also in attendance. But the departing president was nowhere to be found. We will be back in some form. Donald Trump left for Florida in the morning before the inauguration, but made it clear he wasn't going away forever. I wish the new administration great luck and great success. When President Biden gets down to business, he'll face the daunting task of bringing a pandemic under control. And today he marked the death.